it's Sparkle Girl, and this cage theme is a garden cage theme for my Syrian hamster Toodles. He lives in this about 1,000 square inch DIY cage, and this theme is kind of similar to his last cage theme, which was like an Easter spring theme. You might recognize the gel clings and the garland from that. But he needed a cage clean and I wasn't ready to move on from spring so I decided to do a garden theme. I've always wanted to do this for a while now. So I just left the gel clings and the garland the way they were last time and I think it looks really pretty. But what is different about this cage tour is that I have finally connected the ovos to the tank. I'm about ready to see how Toodles is going to react in them. Fingers crossed he's going to be a good boy. But um, as you can see they are connected. Starting off on the right side of the cage, this is like the little dirt garden area. And going around it is this natural looking fence. In the front right of the cage is this wheelbarrow sand bath. And then there in the back right is this ceramic pot and some oat sprays. And then right here there is another sand bath. This one is a little pink birdhouse sand bath and it is so cute and there is like this big hole that um, a hamster could possibly get stuck in but don't worry I was able to cover it with packaging tape so that um, Toodles would not get stuck. <laughs> and then leaning out of it is this bendable bridge. In the middle of the little dirt garden is this really cute caterpillar chew and then there is a Petco bridge leading out of the dirt garden area. Along the fence there is some more oat sprays and then there's this pink ceramic dish that is supposed to be a flower pot with dirt in it. In the middle of the cage Toodles has his purple um, Carolina Storm Express wheel. And then there is a pond area with blue Carefresh and a piece of driftwood separating it from the grass. And there's also some little wood steps that lead across the water. <laughs> to the left side of the cage. As you can see the bedding on this side is deeper than the bedding here. It kind of goes up to like this little bedding level and I really like that. Leaning up there are these little wood steps and this white metal arcway. And then right here on the edge of these two bendy bridges there is this flower chew with loofah and it's so pretty. Um, and then coming down in like this little waterfall there if you can see it actually starts all the way over here which I will get to in a second but um, it comes down what's supposed to be a waterfall and into the little pond and then on the second level in the back there there is this Petco ceramic mushroom house they don't sell this anymore sadly but I'm so glad I was able to get one and leaning to it across the river are these two little wood steps this part is the little food feeding area right here is his yellow tulip shaped flower food dish and then here is a flower shaped veggie dish and as you can see there's just a little piece of fresh broccoli waiting for Toodles to snatch it up. <laughs> and then there is another bendy bridge and the water leads to, well actually it's supposed to be coming from there, but it leads to the place where the ovos connect and go up, up, up to the ovos up there. Mm -hmm. 